Hey everyone, it's Arlene. I'm here with a new project. Um, I put together this Graphic 45 Low Romantique frame for Vanjie. Hi Vanjie! Um, she ordered um, a whole bunch of things for me and um, she's always so sweet. She's sending me all these gorgeous racks and everything and I told her I was going to make her a little something. So I decided to put together a frame for her and hubby and um, it's using, um, like I mentioned, the Graphic 45 Le Romantique paper collection. Now the frame started off as a raw um, wood frame and how I did the base of the frame is first I used my uh, Liquitex uh, gesso and I primed the entire frame. Um, I didn't do much to the back but you can see how I primed it in the back with the gesso. And then after I put the, adjust, the gesso, I painted it with the Claudine Helmuth Studio semi-gloss acrylic paint in charcoal black. And then I let that dry. And then I went randomly over the page um, with a bristle brush and some more gesso. And from there, and then I let that dry. And then I went over it with the traditional tan studio paint and then I used a wet paper, uh, wet paper towel and sort of rubbed it off and um, a little tip that I got from Paula hey Paula um, over at Journal Artista so check her out she's awesome I just recently got into art journaling and I'm having so much fun with it and I don't know if you guys can see my hands but they're just so filled with gesso and they're just so jacked up right now I totally need to get my nails done so sorry for my nails um, but anyway, so that's how I did the background, and then um, I also went over it with um, the gel, um, regular gel medium, the matte medium, and then after I went over that, I took my, um, let's see, where is it, my wheat fields glimmer mist, and I sprayed over that, so there's a little bit of glimmer, not sure if you can see it with the lighting, but there's glimmer on the background, and um, before I actually did that, um, before I did the glimmer misting and the gel medium, I had actually taken my Mod Podge, and it's just the Mod Podge matte, and I used that to adhere the Le Romantique stamp images on here. And for in order for me to get the actual edging here, if you notice the stamps are actually cut out like a stamp, I used my 1 and 16 inch um, punch to cut out each of the edges of the stamp so it actually um, looks like a stamp. Okay, and then I actually distressed around it with Vintage Photo also. And then this is my favorite image. I did a page on Rose's mini album using this Graphic 45 Lormantique image and I made the little skirt um, out of lace and it's three layers of lace and I distressed it with the old lace glimmer mist. So it's got a little bit of a vintage look to it. And Vanjie loves vintage, distress, um, grunge, just like me, imperfection. Because um, to me, the imperfection and the, and the distressing is just, I love it. It makes it look so vintage. So anyways, I put the lace and then I put some Prima flowers. And these are the, um, the caramel Prima flowers that I'd purchased on Seven Kids College Fund. And then there's a little um, rose from the Prima Pearl Bling that I put all over here. And then I put another little mini rose Prima on her hair. And then I have some two, ca two Prima Camelot flowers that I glimmer mist with sand um, glimmer mist. And then I have one of the um, Tim Holtz metal findings down here. These are the leaves. And then a little um, cameo that I purchased off Etsy on, um, I think I actually got these through Canterbury Lane. And then um, I have one of the, um, uh, I forget what these are called now, but this is one of, from one, from Tim Holt's new line, um, the little holder, and I'll put it up on the screen because I can't think of it right now. And then just an Audage ticket that I distressed and um, I used distressed vintage photo and walnut stain to um, edge it. And then here's one of the Muse tokens by Tim Holtz, um, and it says Forevermore on there. And then a couple of more metal findings from Canterbury Lane, the aluminum rose and the little flower petals. And then I have some leaves, or uh, flowers on here, sorry, not leaves. And then a bunch of the Prima Pearl bling that I purchased off of addictedtoscrapbooking.com. 
and then this is a little cutout from the Perfect Gentleman paper collection by Graphic 45. So to sort of look at what um, this could look like with a picture, and it actually printed up a picture of me and Hubs, so you guys can take a look. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited. I had so much fun putting this together. Vanjie, I hope you like it. Um, and put a nice little photo of you and your hubby in here. Okay, so, oops, we're kind of crooked, but I think you get my point. <laughs> here, let me spin us around. So funny. My battery's like flashing on me, so I hope it doesn't, my camera doesn't turn off on me. But that's basically what it would look like. I love this frame, so I mean it was so much fun working with it, um, creating it, because I love Lurub Antique. It's just the best paper collection I think right now. At least it's my favorite from, from Graphic 45 currently. So anyways, um, Vanji, hope you like your frame, and this is going out in the mail on Monday along with your flowers. So thanks everybody for watching. Have a good weekend. Bye.